In this video, we shall discuss only datagram networks. So, what is the datagram networks? In data communication system, we require to send messages from one end system to another end system. If the message is going to pass through a packet switched network, it needs to be divided into packets of fixed or variable sizes. The size of the packet is determined by the network and the governing protocol. So here we are having one diagram for the better understanding. So let us suppose this is our sender and this is our respective receiver here. Okay. Now we are having one long message. So depending upon the maximum packet size allowable in this particular network, the long message has got divided into four packets. The packets have got numbered. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, the packets have got numbered. So now here at this particular, let it be the router here. So at this particular router, these packets have come. So now the packet number 1, just consider packet number 1. So packet number 1 is going in this way. So there is a, there is a first uh, edge, it is traversing, then second one, then this one. So three edges it has traversed. Okay. Next one for the packet number 2, it is traversing in this way. So what will happen? It is traversing two edges there. For packet number 3, it is traversing like this one. And then the packet number 4, it is traversing like this one. So now you can find that these four packets are traversing in different routes while traversing from center to the receiver. As they are traversing in different routes, then what will happen? In that case, different packets will be reaching at the destination at different time. So that's why here while doing the reassembly of these packets, we must be requiring the packet numbers. So when these packets will be reaching to this respective receiving node, so they will be received in different order. So I require some reassembly buffer where these packets will be reached at first and then there will be having the respective according to the packet number, they are to be joined again reassembled back again so that I can get back my message. So here we are finding that different packets which is being sent by the respective sender in a consecutive sequence may reach at the receiver in different sequence. You see 1, 4, 3, 2 in this way it has received. Because different networks may have different congestion and congestion is always a time dependent. So now this route is not congested after a few minutes, after a few seconds, the route may get congested. So that's why due to the congestion, due to the length of the path it has traversed, so different packets may receive by the receiver at different times, so the sequence will not be maintained. And now there will be having some reassembly buffer where these packets will get reassembled according to the sequence to get back the original message. So this is known as the datagram network. A switch in a datagram which, uh, which network uses a routing table that is based on the destination address. So the sample routing table in a datagram it has been given here. So now here, so here they have considered them as a switch. So switch will be having some routing table to, to, to take the routing decision. So what is the routing table and what are the data structure is there. So now just see here for the destination address just consider this respective switch. So how many output ports are you having there? We are having 4 output ports. What are the numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4. So whenever the destination address is 1, 2, 3, 2 then the out output will be 1. When the destination address will be 4, 1, 5, 0 the output port will be 2. Whenever the destination address is 3, 1, 3, 0, 9, 1, 3, 0 then the output port will be 3. In this way, we will be having multiple destination addresses and respective output port numbers will be written there. The same output port number may be repeating for multiple number of times also. So this routing table will help this respective switches to do the respective routing operation. So the destination address in the header of a packet in a datagram network remains the same during the enter journey of the packet. So in case of datagram, each and every packet will have some header and that header will have a detailed information that who sent this particular packet, to whom this packet is intending 
So all this information will remain intact throughout this transmission process and each and every time this particular router, this particular switch which is having this routing table reading this packet header and according to that it will be transmitting this particular packet to the destination address accordingly depending upon this routing table and in this way the datagram network works. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.